Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Avatar The Last Airbender. So, as we possibly know, uh, we did technically kidnap Toph. I am not sure if that is going to play into this episode or not, but it should be pretty interesting keeping that in mind. So, yes, this one, I, of course, I've seen. I just don't remember the exact details of it. Um, it's been a while since I've seen season two. Um, it's been even longer since I've seen season one beyond what we've just covered. So, this is going to be an interesting ride. So, with that being said, let's jump right in. Here we go. All right, Avatar The Last Airbender. Previously... On Avatar. And we're doing a previously on. I need a small elite team. Right. I see with earthbending. Right. You're gonna be a great teacher, Toph. Maybe. We no longer have anything to gain by traveling together. <laughs> that backfired. I need to find my own way. But that's true. Book 2 Earth, Chapter 8, The Chase. Alright, we got a very hey, weird white oppa. The grass is so soft. <laughs> That's not grass. Up is shedding. Right. That's not gross. It's just a part of spring. It's hair. Rebirth, flowers blooming, and Appa gets a new coat. Yes, and we are in the start of fall at the taping of this recording. <laughs> stop! Appa, stop! <laughs> wow. It makes a great wig. <laughs> and a great beard. Wow. That's funny. I'm just glad we finally have another girl in the group. Right. Anyone have a razor? I got some hairy pits. Right, early. All right, so they're setting up camp. When setting up camp, we try to divide up the work. Sometimes. While someone else might set up the fire pit. Okay. Even Momo does his fair share. Right. And look, my tent's all set up. All right, cool. I don't understand. What's the problem here? <laughs> yes. Ooh, Sorry. wow. That hurts. I wanted to apologize for earlier. I think okay. we're, all just, we're all just a little tired. You do seem pretty tired. <laughs> I meant all of us. Right. She wanted an apology, but it backfired on her. Right. You know, apologize to get an apology. <gasps> Uh-oh. Tough. Feels something. something. coming toward us! What is it? It feels like an avalanche. Okay. Also not an avalanche. Your powers of perception are frightening. <laughs> Should we leave? Better safe than sorry. Right. Yep, something's definitely following them. What is that thing? That's a scary tank thing. It reminds me of Mad Max. I said our own way was broken. It was hard to know who was more crazy. Sweet land. <laughs> really? You need me to help unload Sokka's funky smelling sleeping bag? Right. Well, oh, yeah. Oh. Look, I didn't ask you to help unload my stuff. Right. Um, True. You've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. Ouch, that's rude. Look here, sugar queen. <laughs> I gave up everything I had so that I could teach Aang earthbending. Right. Sugar queen? Yep. <laughs> slam the door on you. Did you just slam the door in my face? Yep. Should we do something? You're hitting rock. Both need to calm down. I'm completely calm! <laughs> sure you are. I can see that. Right? The stars sure are beautiful tonight. Too bad you can't see them, Toph. Emotional damage! Wow, that's mean. <laughs> How's the guy supposed to sleep with all this yelling and earthquaking? Earthquaking? <laughs> that thing is back. Maybe we can close our eyes just for a few minutes. Uh, nope, it's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty scary. What is that thing? And how does it keep finding us? I'm gonna make sure we lose him. Okay, but how? Okay, so you went up on a hill. Forget about setting up camp. <laughs> I'm finding the softest pile of dirt and going to sleep. Right. That's good, because Toph wasn't going to help anyway. Oh, right. I oh, I didn't realize Baby still needed someone to tuck her in bed. <laughs> Ooh. There's something after us, and we don't even know what or who it is. True. It could be Zuko. We haven't seen him since the North Pole. That's fair. 
Who's Zuko? Oh, just some angry freak with a ponytail who's tracked us all over the world. <laughs> What's wrong with ponytails, ponytail? Right. This is a warrior's wolf tail. Wolf tail. It certainly tells the other warriors that you're fun and perky. Right. <laughs> Whoever's chasing us, they couldn't have followed us here. So I wouldn't be so sure. No, Momo. Shh. Sleepy time. Right. There's no way they could have tracked us. Maybe. I can feel it with my own two feet. My own two feet. Man, that thing is fast. Maybe we should face them. Find out who they are. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe they're friendly. Always the optimist. Why would they be friend if they're driving a demon tank? Nope. It's Azula and her crazy friends. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. Well, maybe sane friends, but she's the crazy one. It's those three girls from Omashu. Right. We can take them. Three on three. Actually, Toph, there's four of us. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't count you. Ouch. You know, no bending and all. You filthy little mud blood. Wow. I can still fight! True. Three? Okay, three on three plus Sokka. <laughs> well, we wanted to find out who they were. Now let's get out of here. Right. And she has lightning. Nice. So now they're all going to get tired. The crazy blue firebending and the flying daggers are bad enough. Right. One of those girls did something that took my bending away. That's scary. Right. Oh, yeah, no, that is scary. We've been up all night with no sleep. Sokka will be okay. Right. Are you sure? Maybe. I've never not slept before. One of us. <laughs> You've only missed like eight hours of sleep. Give me a break. So we'll just have to keep flying. We can't keep flying forever. Well, maybe if you figured out how they're tracking you. And Zuko's back. And he's following them, okay. So what's our plan? I'm sure we'll come up with something after a short nap. I mean, Appa's the one flying. They don't technically have to, like, stay awake. What's going on? Appa fell asleep! Unless this happens. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like Peter Pan. I got it. I found it. I lost it. Ah! Wow. Crash landing. We've put a lot of distance between us and them. Okay. Of course, we could have gotten some sleep earlier if Toph didn't have such issues. Wow. I want to hear what Katara has to say. Okay. You think I have issues? I think y'all have issues. If out earlier, we could have set up our camp faster and gotten some sleep. And then maybe we wouldn't be in this situation. Probably still be in the situation, though. No! No! She's not blaming you! Eh, <laughs> girl fight. No, no, I'm blaming her! Hey, I never asked you for a diddly. Wow. If there's anyone to blame, it's Shetty over here. Shetty? <laughs> He's leaving a trail everywhere we go. Oh, she's actually right. I'm talking about how you carry your own weight, but you're not. He is. <laughs> He's carrying everyone's weight. He never had a problem flying when it was just the three of us. I'm out of here. Okay. Wait. <sighs> <laughs> just slide you aside, you know. What did I just do? Right. I can't believe I yelled at my earthbending teacher. Yeah, messed up, dude. And I was so mean to her. Yep. Yeah, you two were pretty much jerks. <laughs> I mean, Zaka wasn't really mean. Okay, but what are we going to do about the tank full of dangerous ladies chasing us? True. Yeah, that could be a problem. I have a plan. And he has a plan. Give Appa a bath. Hopefully he'll stop shitting. Appa's fur was leaving a trail right to us. But now that he's clean, no more trail. There you go. He'll be fine as long as we leave his saddle and all our stuff here. I'm going to use Appa's fur to make a fake trail and lead the tank off course. Well, that kind of sucks. That doesn't help either. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. That really hurt my tail, Mon. Right. So, Uncle Iroh. Wads of wet fur. Yep. They're not wads. They're more like bundles. Okay. Or bunches? It's got an uh sound. Does it matter? Clumps? <laughs> clumps! They're clumps! 
Right. Does it even matter, really, though? The trail goes this way. Yeah. And the trees say otherwise. The Avatar is trying to give us the slip. Yep. You, you two head in that direction and keep your eye out for the bison. I'll follow this trail. Okay. Where did they stash the saddle, though? So now he can just sit down and maybe meditate and fall asleep. All right. Now we wait. What is it, Momo? Oh, no! Katara! <laughs> How did they find us? You broke a tree. Uh, well, come on, we need to go faster. He's too tired. Not right. Come on, I'll put just a little further. Ouch. I mean, I know he's a big dude, but that still probably hurts. Ouch. We made it. We're safe. Are you sure? I've seen these lizards. Yep. Those lizards look familiar, because we have those in the real world, it's just they're not as big. The basilisk is called the Jesus Christ Lizard, because it can walk, well, really run on water. Oh boy. Nice. Now we're getting into the action. Uh oh. Pressure points. <laughs> Hard headed. Oh wow, that's accurate. How you doing? <laughs> I thought when Tylee and I finally caught you guys, it would be more exciting. Okay. Oh well, oh, well. victory is boring. Mm, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what we do without you. Oh, okay. Now it's time for you to take a bath. Was it just me? Or was that guy kind of cute? <laughs> okay. His ghost girlfriend might not like that, though. Now who are you and what do you want? You mean you haven't guessed? You don't see the family resemblance? Right. Here's a, here's a hint. I must find the Avatar to restore my honor. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You can laugh. It's funny. A little bit. You can run, but I'll catch you. I'm not running. She's happy about that. Hmm, tea time. You seem a little too young to be traveling alone. A bit. You seem a little too old. Burn! Ouch. I know what you're thinking. I look like I can't handle being by myself. I wasn't thinking that. Right. You wouldn't even let me pour my own cup of tea. You're blind. I poured your tea because I wanted to. Okay. And for no other reason. Maybe People because you're blind too? People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me. But I can take care of myself by myself. Okay. You sound like my nephew. Always thinking you need to do things on your own. Right. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Okay. Not that, not that I love you. I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Iroh making things awkward. So, where is your nephew? I've been tracking him, actually. Oh, okay. Is he lost? Is he lost? Yes, a little bit. In a way. His life has recently changed and he's going through very difficult times. You can say that again. He's trying to figure out who he is and he went away. Right. But if he needs me, I'll be there. True. Your okay. Your nephew is very lucky, even if he doesn't know it. Right. Thank you. Sharing tea with a fascinating stranger is one of life's true delights. <laughs> no, thank you for what you said. It helped me. Oh, and about your nephew, maybe you should tell him that you need him, too. Mm, maybe. Yeah, might be a good idea. Do you really want to fight me? No, but you're yes. here. Yes, I really do. But he does. I was wondering when you'd show up, Zuzu. Zuzu. <laughs> Zuzu? Right. Azula. He's mine. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> He's like, I'm in this, but I'm tired, so I'll let you guys battle this out. <laughs> mm. 
So we got a Mexican standoff here. That was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it was bad. Right? You're a skater. Thanks, man. I can't yeah. you. Hey, school. guys. Yeah. Wow, blue fire. Okay. So she's going after the airbender. Almost falls. Yep. Of course he falls. <laughs> Just cuts a whole building in half. Wow, there we go. Nice. Sneak attack. <gasps> Uncle. There's Uncle Iroh. Yeah. I thought you guys could use a little help. Almost all the main players are in this game now. <laughs> Belly bump. Look at this. Enemies and traitors, all working together. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. I know when I'm beaten. Right. I don't trust that. Have her see her heart beating and tell that she's lying. Ah! Ooh. No. Wow. That's a big explosion. Uh oh. Get away from us! Right. Zuko, I can help! Right, maybe. Jeez. Well, they left him. They all get to sleep now. And that is it. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, that was Avatar The Last Airbender. Very interesting episode. A lot of detail in this story. We get, um, you know, everyone kind of fighting each other, getting kind of cranky, a lot of, uh, you know, just them getting chased, which even though they're getting chased, there's still stories between this, them being chased and them stopping. Um, Katara doesn't like that Toph isn't helping set things up or helping out with the camp stuff. Which is neither here nor there, really. If she's holding her own and taking care of herself, it doesn't really matter. In that um, going on, we also have them being chased by Azula and her two crazy friends. Well, actually, she's probably more the crazier one than the other two. I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. But you know what I mean. It's pretty interesting to see that dynamic, the tiredness making people even more cranky than they usually are because uh, they had a little bit of a butting heads at the beginning before they really got tired but uh, it's pretty interesting to see how they react with the heat being on and then we have uh, out of nowhere we have Prince Zuko following the sister we have Uncle Iroh meeting Toph after she gets mad and leaves which is pretty cool how they brought those two storylines together and then separated them after Azula gets ultimately, not defeated, but uh, ultimately just disappears and gives up for now. Uncle Iroh got hit in the chest with a fireball. Uh, it might have been even an electric uh, shock. I'm not sure, but it was a probably a blue fireball. We don't know how he's doing. We don't know if he survives. We will have to see the next episode to figure that out. So with that being said, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. Go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. And we will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.